You're in the middle of nowhere, in the dark. But you're not alone here. A terrible monster is chasing you. Or is it a maniac? A space beast, maybe. It doesn't matter. You try to dial 911, but the network is dead. Your Tesla is out of reach. With trembling hands, you're trying to type a message to your close ones to say you love them and to tell them not to expect you for dinner. But your fingers miss the buttons. This is the end. No chance. This is how unfortunate everything would have turned out if you were the hero of a horror movie in 2020. However, in a decade, everything will be completely different. Thanks to the new technologies appearing today. Gold, diamonds, oil… These mean nothing. Information has always been the real treasure. 2,500 years ago, the Greek warrior Pheidippides ran 42 kilometers after a six-hour battle to inform the Athenians about the Greeks' victory in the Battle of Marathon. He shouted, Joy to you! We've won! and died immediately. Today, it will take one click to deliver such a message and add the meme with the cat. And no one will die. Most likely. Since ancient times, mankind has invented ever new ways of sharing information. Signal fires, carrier pigeons, pony express, telegraph. And with each new invention, civilization took a step forward. The most significant invention of today is the internet. We use it for communication, work, finding love, making purchases, ordering food, having fun, and studying. The history of the internet deserves a dedicated video, so perhaps it's time to move on to how the ways of connecting to it will change in the next decade, that is, the means of communication. We bet you're watching this video on a phone. 80% of people do. Today, mobile data transfer allows you to watch streaming video in high quality while you're traveling on a bus. But just 13 years ago, in the era of 2G, it took forever to download even a low-resolution picture. In 2019, after much debate about the frequency to choose, the fifth generation of mobile communication started being deployed around the world. The first country where the 5G commercial network has been activated and worked to its fullest is South Korea. So how is the new generation different? Besides the amazing logo. 5G has an incredible data transfer rate, about 1 to 2 gigabits, which is 40 and sometimes 100% times faster than 4G. Other advantages include very low battery consumption and low latency, as well as the ability to simultaneously provide network connection to 1 million devices per 1 square kilometer. Why do ordinary people need such crazy speed? First of all, gamers will be ecstatic, because 5G allows them to finally fully establish cloud gaming. When a graphically packed game is launched on a remote server and the image is transferred to the user's device, even if it's a cheap smartphone or a fridge. 5G also opens the way for neural networks, pattern recognition, and new markets of the future which we still cannot even fathom. And of course, unmanned vehicles. With the new communication standard, they will be able to instantly exchange information among themselves to avoid accidents and other difficult traffic situations. And finally, the Internet of Things. In 2020, it's expected that 20 billion IoT devices would be connected to the Internet. It's not yet clear why we need all these smart kettles and smart pants, but what can we do? The future it is. 10 years from now, 5G will cover almost all the cities of the world. And if you turn out to be a character of the horror movie from the beginning of this video, you can easily call in your Tesla. Just like Batman calls in his Batmobile. But not as cool. So how to connect to the internet if you're lost in the jungle or in the desert hundreds of miles away from the nearest 5G tower? Today, 20% of Americans are never, never offline. However, even though residents in many developed countries of the world cannot imagine a day without the internet, according to the UN, half of the world's population still has no connection to the World Wide Web. And this is almost 3.5 billion people. One of the main techno-giants of our time, Elon Musk, 
has decided to correct this flagrant injustice with the help of the Starlink project. Thousands of satellites should be launched into space to make the internet available anywhere in the world. Such a bold plan was not met positively by China, where the internet is subject to strict censorship and whose great Chinese firewall is known all over the world. The Russian Ministry of Defense is even going to jam Musk's global internet. Hurikani. Nevertheless, many took the Starlink idea with enthusiasm, except perhaps Kingsman fans. Somehow they know how such an adventure might end. Rumor has it the global internet from SpaceX will be free, and you can access it from virtually any smartphone. Let's try to figure out how it all might end up. Starlink is a giant constellation of satellites that fly over the planet and transmit information to each other. Simply put, it'll work like this. A ground station transmits information to the nearest satellite via radio waves. A satellite uses a laser to transmit information to a neighboring satellite and so on along the chain to the destination. After that, the information will be transmitted to the receiving station. The process will be comparable in speed to wired internet with even less delay. In May 2019, the first 60 Starlink satellites were delivered into orbit. Another 12 launches will cover the United States, and another 24, the whole world. By the mid-2020s, SpaceX plans to launch into space nearly 12,000 satellites. By the way, let's look at these miracle devices in more detail. They're quite compact and weigh only 227 kilograms. Each one is equipped with an antenna, a solar panel, and a Krypton gas engine. Probably so that Superman can't bring them down. Just kidding, it's actually for maneuvering. To connect to Starlink, users will need to purchase a special pizza box-shaped phased antenna. The price of such equipment is still unknown, but according to rumors, it'll range from $100 to $300. The monthly fee for internet access will cost $50, which is comparable to the cost of the classic internet in the US and Europe. It's unlikely that many residents of large cities will want to change the classic internet to satellite, despite even the undeniable charisma of Musk. However, for residents of remote corners of our planet where the internet access costs a fortune, Starlink could become an alternative. According to experts, Starlink can bite off 5-7% to 7 of the internet provider market, which today is estimated at $1 trillion. It could bring SpaceX more money than commercial rocket launches. The project turned out to be so promising that nine large companies, including Amazon, have already joined the satellite internet race. So it seems that by the end of this decade, there will not be a piece of land not covered by the internet. And technically, once in a horror movie, you can call for help from anywhere in the world. There's only one catch. How to type a message or at least dial 911 with shaking hands running away from terrible danger? In 10 years, this problem will have a solution too. Gray, the main character of the 2018 Upgrade movie, becomes the owner of built-in artificial intelligence, which drastically enhances his mental abilities and reaction time. Despite the gloomy ending of the film, it seems that something similar is going to be achieved in real life by, guess who, Elon Musk himself and his other company Neuralink. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We humans have two systems of cognition. Limbic, responsible for our dreams, desires, and emotions, and Cortex, where thinking and planning take place. Neuralink should become the third level above them, a kind of digital superintelligence system that connects us to computers and AI. Basically, this third level of cognition already exists today in the form of smartphones and computers, giving us access to all the information of the world in a couple of touches. However, this interface with all these taps and voice commands is terribly slow. It'll be much faster to connect the brain and a device directly using the brain-machine interface. Scientists around the world have been working on BMI for a long time to help paralyzed people gain the ability to move, or create prostheses that can be controlled by the power of thought. Our brain consists of billions of neurons. Each time we move, speak, see, hear, or think, neurons flash, sending electrical signals to each other. Then a magnetic field appears, which will be read and interpreted to data in zeros and ones by Neuralink, a kind of translator between the world of thoughts and the digital world. To achieve this, thousands of neural threads will be implanted into the cerebral cortex, 10 times thinner than a human hair. 
Similar technologies have already been used for deep brain stimulation in patients with Parkinson's disease. A special N1 chip processor will transform signals from the brain and send a response back. The device is less than a one-cent coin and is able to read 20,000 brain signals per second. At the same time, it will connect to other devices wirelessly. That is, your brain can be connected to your phone. You can't wait to see what happens in the App Store in the brain training section. Sounds like something incredible, like science fiction or black magic, right? Wrong. Similar technology has already been tested, using just 11 electrodes. Utah Array allowed to type messages and control a computer with the power of thought. So Neuralink is already very close to launch. Clinical trials may begin as early as 2020. This technology will at the very least help treat terrible brain diseases or succeed even further and become a universal interface to connect our brains to computers directly. Or just translate the scariest episodes of Black Mirror into reality. Time will tell. And we're here again, in the wilderness, in the dark, with a pursuer behind us. But if in 2020 you have no chance to escape, in 10 years everything will change. Through a brain implant, you connect to a smartphone and send a message to the rescue team with the power of thought, which is immediately sent via the space internet. Your self-driving car, prudently parked at the nearest 5G tower, breaks off and rushes towards you. Of course, this is just a gloomy fantasy, but new communication technologies will really change our lives in the next 10 years. Thanks to 5G, all objects around us will become IoT, and unmanned vehicles will become commonplace. The space internet will allow you to be online anywhere in the world, and the neural interfaces will directly connect our minds and technology. It seems that humanity has taken the first step on the path leading to a complete transition from the real world to the digital one. Maybe that's why we're here. What other technologies of the future could help you survive in a horror movie? Leave a comment below. And while it is still possible, hug your loved ones. Stay tuned, new videos about the incredible world of technology are on the way. Hasta la vista!